When you receive your rocker arms, you might receive one of these and wonder what the heck is that? Well, this video will show you what it's for. Good afternoon and welcome to MBD Cylinder Heads. We're just looking at a big block Chevrolet package. Our customers receive their parts and components and we engineer the whole design of everything. So, and if you receive your cylinder heads with all your parts and you buy rocker arms and you start assembling and you wonder when you look at the assembly and wonder, well, I wonder if my rocker arm geometry is right. Well, one thing you have to check is where the roller hits on the rocker on the valve. So you want to make sure you're nearly centered, but you've got to make sure you have your lash cap in place. So how do we check the geometry? It looks pretty good from here, but how do we know for sure it's going to be right? Well, this is what this video will show you. First thing you need to do is we'll pull this rocker arm off. One of the biggest questions we get sometimes is, well, I didn't know how to exactly check it. And what, what the heck is this for? Stand height gauge. Well, we have this little gimmickal, gimmick thing here, and I'll show you how to use that. But you have to remove the rocker arm. The only tool you need is a small snap ring plier. Remove one of the snap rings. So you pull the snap ring out, and that's why they give you new snap rings if it's hard to take out. You remove the shaft from the rocker arm, which is really simple. You don't have to worry about the bearings falling apart. There's a shim on each side, but you need this part of the rockers. You put it back in place where the rocker goes. It's good to secure it with a couple of nuts because you want everything to be how it's going to be during assembly. So we won't need to torque everything, but we want it tight so there's no excessive slop, which might mess up your measurements. You bolt that on. You got to make sure you got the rocker bar bolted to the head, and you got this in the right position. But we'll take this off as well because the tool is simple and the assembly is simple. So we'll remove the spring and the retainer. And here's the tool we're talking about. This is for one inch. It's a one zero zero zero, which is one inch of lift, and they'll have them for 600 lift, 800 lift, 900, one inch. This is how you check your geometry. It sets on the bar, sets flat on the tip of the valve, and it should be parallel to the stem on the machine part of the bar. That tells you that the rocker arm geometry with the assembly bolted on and the valve length is correct. You verify it when you put the assembly back together. You put the spring and the retainer with the locks back on it. Put the rocker arm back together when you get it to the point where you're doing final assembly. You put some bluing on top of the, the uh, valve stem. Assemble the rocker and reinstall it on the cylinder head and you spin it over and look at the pattern across the top of your lash cap on the valve tip and you should be nearly centered in your sweep across the rocker arm. So we reassembly what would be the spring pack. We go back to our rocker arm, make sure you got your shims on, reinstall your shaft. If you did happen to over expand your sir clip, it comes with new ones. We reassemble the rocker arm, make sure the clip is seated in the groove. And then when you look at it, all you need to do is make sure the roller's in the center of the valve stem tip. And then when you have the assembly with your cam in it, is run it through the valve lift and make sure that it stays in the center of the lash cap. This is one that TD provides. It's got simple instructions. It's not hard to use. It's a very simple tool and it's very simple explanation how to use it. Follow the instructions and you'll have success checking your geometry and make sure it's right. This one comes from TND, which we use a lot of their rocker arms. Jessel also has their own checking tool and it has a similar type setup. It just looks a little bit different, but their instructions show you exactly how to use it and you know for sure and have confidence that your rocker arm geometry is correct.